Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the World Series of Poker. I am with, that's right folks, four, four-time bracelet champion, George Danzer. Now I just, I saw your lady, last time we did a winner interview, she was here also, so tell me a little bit about, about the sweat you gave her last night. Yeah, she just came in last week and this time I just told her I'm gonna save the bracelet victories for when she's over. So I just warmed up the first three weeks and uh, after she came over I went to a new apartment, I, uh, I got this uh, a nicer place. Before I was sitting just here grinding along and now I can have a little bit uh, time in between the tournaments and all the relaxing helped out uh, to to get me to the to the next victory, so it, it was just uh, as scripted. It's easy for this guy. Well, you know, after capturing four, tell me, you know, player of the year, a lot of accolades you have, I would say. Um, so tell me, what what does this bracelet mean to you? After you have four, is it just kind of like, all right, ship it home? No, no. It's every tournament victory is great because it's so hard to get through a field, no matter if it's hundred people or or a thousand people. It's always you feel like losing every poker tournament. It's just because at some point you bust, you lost. And to get through a field and win it always just feels so amazing because then you think you're the best, you know, you beat them all. One time. <laughs> well, I know that it was a really, a really swingy final, final table once you guys got three-handed, but tell me a little bit about, about the moment, about the card <laughs> you're waiting for and how you, you just knew it was there. Yeah, there was one spot where I have two outs on 7th Street. The showdown is already there. I can see the opponent's cards because they had a side pot. So my hand is the last one to be turned over so they can figure out the side pot. And I the see ultimate sweat, here it comes. <laughs> yeah. He has trip threes and I, I have only a pair of aces. So I need another ace. And I, I squeeze my hand. Um, so I just look at the side like this, you look at the side and then nothing shows up because there's no, no spots. If you have a face card, you're gonna have some, some face. If you have uh, like a four and higher, you're gonna have like two, three or four spots on the side. And this one had none, so I know it's an ace, a two or three. So I look a little farther <laughs> so I can see the color of the card and it's a club. So now I look what clubs are gone because I know it's either an ace, a two or a three of clubs and I look and I see the two of clubs right there so I know it's either the ace or the three. Dealer didn't say anything but he knew that the three of clubs was mucked over there because it was an open hand of the third player that I had already forgotten so the three was, he knew he's I, like, yeah, yeah. He, he's like, <laughs> George got he's it. Like, I'm going I mean, home. <laughs> if, if he's rooting for me he was like, <laughs> George has it. But I did, so I have a 50-50 and I smack it, it's the ace of clubs and I come back into, I went from like two bets to having one-fifth of the 20% of the chips again, so I have a, a fighting chance again, that was the best part. And the rest, as we say, is history. All right, well, Tricky Scarfy's about to jump in the 5K, so I'll let you get to it. Thank you so much. This is George Danzer. I'm Sarah Herring. You're with us on PokerNews.com.